tonight on Live Love Win. We're giving you mid-May motivation. When you start waking up and saying, hey, I have the best freaking job in the world. I am my own CEO, I'm my own boss. Only one problem I have, I have 99 problems, but a boss ain't one. That is what you have to think about. Rocking their biz, how new social sellers are pushing their way to the top. Plus cuddling during COVID-19, the effects social distancing could be having on your relationship. Do whatever the hell you want. You leave your socks all over this house, dress like a pig, play your stupid ass video game, I don't care. And tick tock your way to more sales. Live from the Pure Romance Global Headquarters in Cincinnati, Ohio, Live Love Win starts now. Hey, it is Monday, May 18th. You know what today is? It's Motivational Monday. And today, can you believe we're going into week number nine of Shelter in Place, Stay at Home, Ohio here. We're just trying to make sure we're making the best of it. We are now, though, turning our streets into restaurants. We have all kinds of things because we are improvising here in Ohio, just like Pure Romance did. We pivoted, we made some changes, and we made one other change is that we're gonna have our first ever, our first ever, take this, virtual award show we are 20 days out, people. 20 days out from a virtual award show. Now, never done anything like this before, but June 7th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., we are gonna be live here. We're gonna deck this place up. We are gonna make sure that we are seeing everybody in their amazing gowns. Uh, we're gonna probably be going live to some different uh, homes to check in. I wanna see what has happened with those rookie of the years, those record breakers, those top 25 globally in all the different divisions. This will be like, None other. And I'm super excited about it. You know, listen, we're going to do virtual hugs, virtual high fives, virtual shout outs. That's what we do right now, right? It's Motivational Monday. If you're not motivated, I don't know what you could talk about. I don't know if you guys saw this, this whole thing with Nike. Nike did this whole motivational uh, video. I don't know if anybody has seen this yet, but I will tell you right now, this is an amazing uh, video because it's all about going out there and having, uh, well, it's about dreams. Take a look. If we show emotion, we're called dramatic. If we want to play against men, we're nuts. And if we dream of equal opportunity, delusional. When we stand for something, we're unhinged. It's super, it's gonna need to calm down. When we're too good, there's something wrong with us. And if we get angry, we're hysterical, or rational, or just being crazy. But a woman running a marathon was crazy. Officials tried to pull her off the course. A woman boxing was crazy. A woman dunking, crazy. Coaching an NBA team, crazy. A woman competing in a hijab, changing her sport, landing a double cork 1080, or winning 23 Grand Slams, having a baby, and then coming back for more? Crazy, 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 and crazy. So if they want to call you crazy, fine. Show them what crazy can do. It would be a motivational Monday if you didn't have just do it, right? I mean, Nike, you talk about Michael Jordan, last dance. I mean, all kinds of things that are happening around here. One other thing that's happening, this is gonna be a packed show. Get ready, listen to all the stuff that we got. We have 20 days to our virtual right, social, our virtual awards. We have our social sellers that we're gonna be talking to live, which, wow, wait till you see some of these totals that they're busting out. Dr. Kirchman is gonna be talking a little bit about sexual health. He's gonna be a contributor. You're gonna see him quite frequently. He's working with the Patty Brisbane Foundation, and yes, we're gonna have him come in all the way from California to start doing a little bit of uh, 
pure romance. And some of you might have been uh, seen him on the COVID and cuddling, which was a show that they did last week with uh, with uh, Cheryl Force. And also, we're going to be doing some pivot celebrations. You know that because that's how we do it in our product of the week. I'm telling you. I know that you guys have loved product of the week because every time we put a product of the week out, you guys are blowing it out of the water, just like you did the social sellers on Friday. I mean, I had to, I had to turn it all off. I had to pump the brakes. I mean, you guys did 1500 in like an hour in like 25 minutes. Because you know why? Because you have one of the best freaking businesses that are out there. And the other reason is that you're rock stars when it comes to rocking out your business. When it comes to get on Rise and Grind, when it comes to being in Live, Love, Win, you're here, you're, you're ready to get this thing going. Take a look though at some of the rock stars that are in this business because I'm telling you, I've never seen some things that are happening in my life that I'm seeing right now. Rockstar Report. Oh, oh, Suzanne, what is, what is yeah, this? Isn't this awesome? So there's now on our training site, you can download the virtual party Zoom. So this is one of them. So don't stop the party. So you would put yourself right here. Oh, over. yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the look. This is me. Hi, yeah. I'm ready for my virtual party. And there's some other ones, aren't there? Dude, what is this? Oh, sweet escape. Sweet escape. So do I put myself like right yeah, here? Yeah, and then I'm you're having like, your party. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Oh. Party. And party with me. Oh my, look at all the, I mean, we have like, this is awesome. I mean, you think look about at this. Us. This is actually pretty cool. And we now, where are these all located at? These are located on the training site. They can just download them, then you upload them into Zoom. And on Destination Success, Monique McGuire, of course, we love her. She goes step by step, and then she's in front of them doing it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And also, I, shareables are big right now. Well, also on the training site, all of your virtual party invites, yep. they're there. Your cover photos, they're there. We literally, our creative department works for you guys. Use this stuff. It's yeah. easy to do. It's, I, I don't understand why you wouldn't use them. And if anyone needs to know, it's training.pureromance.com. We've got everything there. 
You know, and that's the, that's the best thing right now is, you know, with the virtual parties. You, you, and, and by the way, I love when I put myself at the beach. I put myself at the, uh, at the mountains. I put myself, it's it's a mental refresher for me. And now you get your own backgrounds it here. It makes it fun. It does make it fun. And I think that's the one thing. You got to make sure that you're being memorable, right? And that is one of the most important things, especially when you're in a party plan setting, when you're a business owner. Remember, they're buying you. They're not necessarily buying the product. So how are you going to be remembered? How are you going to come to them? So I don't know if you've seen this, Suzanne, but I know that your team worked on this. Uh, I actually did see this. Never mind. Your team worked on it. I thought you were going to have a surprise. No, your team, you, you, you always ruin the prizes. I said, look, we need a new virtual party promo. And guess what? This is what the team did. Now, who, what, who, who did this for the team? This one was Mike. This was Mike? Yeah, Rob's done a couple of mics. Now you might have seen Mike. It used to Mike be like, we need a tour man. promo. Yeah. But now we got, we got a, we're all in virtual parties. Virtual parties. Take a look. All right, hey, listen, Suzanne. Now I'm telling you, not only is the virtual party promo hot and exciting. Is this one you're gonna do on a This your, uh, right now, I'm telling you, we, as seen on TV. Uh, this could be an as seen on TV. Oh yeah. Because the product of the week, like Kickstart, was last week, right? And the week before was like one of the, the, the I think it was Coco Glow, which we blew out of the water. And then we had the massage hot heart. Hot heart. These, it's going crazy. It's it. But here's the thing. I think it gives people something to focus on because you know when we were doing stuff like I, I can't wait till we can do some of the the uh, CBD melt and stuff like that because that's awesome. But bosom buddy product of the week, right? We have this going on. That's kicking off. Don't forget, this is something that they're they're working on. I know we're talking a lot about on the social selling programs. 100%. If you go to our consultant training website, all of the stuff for Bosom Buddy will be right there. The video, the assets, all there. Just pick it up and use it. I think it's great. Stay a student, make sure you're doing it. It is amazing. The social seller, the Pure Romance consultant training, that's where it is. There's videos on Bosom Buddy, how to go out there and sell it. Skip dessert and indulge in something sweet for two with Bosom Buddy, a tingling foreplay balm for nipples and lips. With mouth-watering flavors like pina colada, vanilla cupcake, and orange dream pop, Bosom Buddy is kissable, lickable, and just begging for a taste. Just twist and swipe on nipples, lips, and any of your other favorite spots to add delectable delights to any after dark encounter. Add to the fun by applying Bosom Buddy before foreplay begins for a sexy and delicious surprise later on. Everyone needs a bosom buddy, so get yours from Pure Romance. I know that the bundles were big this weekend as well. Um, how quick did they sell? Uh, very, very quick. Okay, so that to me says, and you correct me if I'm wrong, ladies, make your own bundles I with know. your inventory, put it on your site, and bing, bing, bing. People want experiences, trust me, and you can create so many I experiences. I like one of fun in the sun bundle. Yeah, I'm or a spa bed. day bundle. Uh -huh. like fun, I buy know, one like, of those. It, it's coming in, it's coming. All right, hey, I know what time it is. It's around the web end. 90 seconds. Let's do this. All right, okay, look at Leah Veneer. She's staying a student. She used her profit from her pure romance to pay for her 200 hour yoga teacher class. Come teach me. All right, let's talk about sleeping in style. Taylor Alexander bought bunk beds for her sons thanks to one of her party's sweet dream boys. Oh, I love it. All right, Kimberly Rodriguez is living life by done. She bought an iPad to continue her education and she loves it. Awesome job. I love this. Katie Gentry is making the most of her bonus check she used to buy a vacuum, Ooh. get $200 worth of wine, and continue her sexual health education all the way from Green Bay. I love it. Uh, we love that. Talk about rocking your sales. Lucy Heinen, best month ever. 81,000 $81, in sales. And look at her all in. See, she recycled an awesome picture of herself. Oh, she's so fun. I love it. Oh, what about this? Gina Marshall. Marshall won't have trouble selling, getting getting comfortable in her new adjusted bed. Congratulations, those are the best. You can lean up, do all kinds Goal of things. attained. Oh, there she is. There's my girl. Career sales, one million. Monique McGuire. Way to go. Woo! One million. Looking awesome, as always. All right, Kayla, uh, Kayla Slater is, is getting stuff done. She paid bills. Brought her husband a grill. Perfect timing. Then led, left, mo left mo money over for a great planning. 
Oh, I love it. Tara Ben actually is able to pay in cash for her car repairs, even after a trip to the vet and tractor repair store. Cash is clean. Oh, I love it, Tara. All right, number one, let's talk about progress. Amber O'Brien oh, yes. has paid off $3,000 in credit card debt in the past two months. Uh, $3,000 yes, 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 yes. in credit card debt. Like, that to me is That's one huge. of the most... No, that is, isn't that great? And I bet she feels so free. Yes, because like a bird. you're not like owned by somebody else. I like, I hate when, you know, like American Express ain't calling you and no. you back. You're like, I, I, I got my life back. I'm $3,000. Hey, can I tell you something that Amber, I'm, I'm really impressed with that. That's amazing. Um, and that, I think that's what this business does. This business gives you an ability to uh, make choices. If you mm -hmm. want to work, you want to pay things down. You want to work, you want to go buy stuff. I'm not a proponent of going to buy a bunch we of know. stuff. Oh, we I, know. I know. But I'm a proponent of this. I'm a proponent of living your life by design. Okay. And for all the new people, and old people, just bear with me. What does living life by design actually mean? I think that that is like, you know, you, you design your bathroom, you design your bedroom, you design your kitchen, you design your living room. You have all these things. You do all these cutouts of what it, what, what it wants to be or you go and you find it on Pinterest. I think we should design our lives, right? Like I really Good believe point. that find other people that you can model after or what is your core values. I think too many people just, they live what other people tell them that they should be living and think like other people think they should be thinking. Mm -hmm. And I really truly believe if you live it by your design, you create it, write it down. Hey, I want this by this. I want to make sure this happens and write it down. But ultimately actions are where most people slip up and don't get what they want out of life. So I, I, that's why I say live life by design. And speaking of somebody that live life by design, man, Ashley Livermore is definitely one of those. Ashley is living her life by design. Take a look. Today, I'm gonna make a pretzel. Oh my God. Before I was a consultant, I was actually a school teacher. Whoa! Are you hungry? From the moment that I was little, I used to have a chalkboard inside of my playhouse and I would teach my, my sister how to do math and I would, write words on the board and I would give her spelling tests. Is that pepperoni or is that a tomato? That's tomato. Yeah. When I first started teaching, I lived in an apartment and that apartment was about $950 a month. So when that $750 payment came in uh, to pay my student loan debt, there was nothing more. It was really an eye-opening experience for me to say, I'm gonna have to get a part-time job. If mommy has to go on her webinar, what does that mean? It means you have to just keep your voices down a little bit, okay? I used okay. my tax refund to buy a starter kit that I had no idea if it was going to work for me. Um, I had never been to a party prior to me becoming a consultant. I really knew nothing about the product line. I'd never even used any of the products. Hey ladies, welcome to the team. We are so excited to have you as a part of the Blended Beauties team. My name is Ashley. I am going to be your trainer for the evening. I'm when I first did my first few parties, the things that I did to kind of prepare for that, I used to use tiny sticky notes and I would put them on the back side of my products. So I would pick up a bottle of coochie cream and on the back there would say exactly my one liner. You can kind of regard me as almost like your personal trainer. Somebody's gonna help you along the way while you're at the gym, but I'm not gonna do the heavy lifting for you. That's gonna be totally up to you. I can't imagine what my life would be without Pure Romance. I would still be in a trailer park. I would probably have two kids that were in daycare. We would be scraping to get by. And when you get to the senior consultant level, currently you're gonna be making 50% of everything that you sell. You're also gonna get an extra $100 a month and a lifestyle bonus. You guys know, you guys started this business for some reason. Some of you started this business because you have a job you hate. Some of you started this business because you just need something to call your own. Some of you need a little extra cash in your pocket. Some of you are looking for a retirement fund. You open up a lot of doors with this business. There's a lot of potential and there's a lot of possibility and there's a lot of, there's a lot of dreaming you can do. That's a weather quiz. Mm -hmm. So you have to look like you have to use these words. This is your word bank and you have to figure out where they go. So this business, there's so many things that I love about it. I love my team. I love the sisterhood that I have with them. I love the friendships that I have with them. I love that this business has allowed us to live the life that we live. Good job, Anastasia. Wait, did I get all of them right? I love that I was able to homeschool my kids for so many years. I am teaching my kids something that most kids will never get the opportunity to learn. And that is, it is okay to have some independence. <laughs> and it is okay for 
your mommy to work hard because when your kids see you working hard, they learn that hard work is where they're going to get things in their life situated. A pop the box party is done typically at your home with just two or three of your really close friends. It feels amazing to know that my life is in my hands. I'm gonna live my life by design and I'm gonna create my life the way that I wanna create it. I'll tell you, it's amazing. Every time I see Ashley, it's it, how awesome of a business owner she is, how great of an entrepreneur and an amazing team leader. Speaking of business though, man, and seeing some new business leaders emerge, you know, a couple months ago, we started this whole thing with was social sellers, you know, getting people in, having them have the ability to do a $39 kit. Uh, we were like, look, we're gonna give bundles, we're gonna give couponing, discounting, all these different ways we were pivoting. I wasn't quite sure how this whole thing was gonna play out, but man, have I been surprised. Not only surprised about how they're being integrated into the business and how engagement level of attending Rise and Grind or attending the different things that we're doing, but also from a sales perspective. And today, Suzanne was able to interview a couple of these amazing social sellers. Take a listen as she interviews three awesome, awesome individuals. What a treat we have for you tonight. We have the top social sellers in the country from Iowa, two in Iowa, one in San Diego, selling between six and 8,000 just in the month of April. Ladies, hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, okay, so easy first question. And if we just, we wanna start with Trisha, go to Amber, then Chastity. Why did you guys start? What made you buy the kit? And then how easy was it to get going? Um, I started because I had to quit working due to the whole corona and it was super easy to get going. My sponsor, Jennifer Phillips, and the entire team of uh, Dazzling Fox and Divas, they were on top of all of the social sellers telling us where to start, how to start, and anytime we had a question, they've always been right there. And the training videos have been amazing. So right, that got awesome. me going. Yeah. Amber, why did you get started? What made you just click, I want to do it? Um, my husband works for CP Railroad. Um, he's an engineer up there, and they did a lot of furloughs, um, which is the same thing as a layoff, except they have to call them back. Um, we have two kids, and we just bought a house and two brand new trucks. And then he got laid off um, four months after after that, um, I work full time job. And like I said, I have two kids. So I didn't think I was going to have the time to do it, but knew I wanted to keep my house and my truck. Uh, union, uh, union unemployment is different than state. So he was only getting $500 every two weeks. He didn't get all that extra stuff that um, the other Iowans are, are getting for layoffs. Um, and it was super easy. Like my sponsor is, I mean, I harass her all day. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay. And why did you start, my friend? Cassidy? Um, I, me? Yeah. I started because I work at a daycare center full time and we also got laid off because of the virus. We didn't have enough kids. And then on top of that, I was making ends meet because I'm used to, you know, pushing the bill and then I have a savings. And then I'm just at home with two kids and I'm constantly picking up after them. I am losing my mind at home. So I needed something for myself. So I decided to join Pure, Rom Pure Romance to have my own little side biz. Okay, all right. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty of how you guys are driving up these numbers. So tell me about what products are you promoting? How are you promoting this? Are you just dropping your website to friends? Are you doing the product of the week? What's working for you? Trisha, do you wanna tell me? Yeah, I am doing the products of the week. And then, I mean, I've been getting inventory like crazy. And every time I try something, if, I mean, I've loved everything. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And I get on my VIP, I get on my stories, I get on my Instagram. And I just talk about it. And I probably go live at least once a day in my VIP group and on my personal Facebook page. And I'm always... Like, oh my God, y'all see this right here? This is amazing. And I start talking about it and telling them. And then next thing I know, my inbox is going crazy. What was that? <laughs> so that's helped a lot. And I love TikTok. You know, I'm 30 and I'm a mom. So I think we all are on TikTok right now. Why not promote my business while I'm on there? 
I love it. Okay, what is working for you girls in Iowa? Okay, so me, what works for me is I just go live in my VIP group every other day. And I'm constantly, I'm just taking our deals and I'll PM people who I know who like sales. And then they'll end up ordering. And I do the same thing as what she talked about. I will just grab a product and I'll talk about it. And then I do funny things on Friday. Like I did a race with the toys. So <laughs> that got people, I ended up selling three of the toys I ended up doing in the race that night. So I'm, that was kind of a thing. People keep sharing and adding their friends and family to my group. And that helps a lot too. And now how do you get them to add people to the group? Do you incentivize it at all? Uh, yeah. So I, every month I, I expect to get a hundred more people. So I say, okay, if you add 10 people to the group, comment done on this post. And at the end of the week or the end of the month, once we hit our goal, I'm going to have a free drawing. So I'll give away a free bottle of coochie or body do whatever I have Perfect. on hand. Awesome. Amber, um, how are I you do, growing? How, what's working for you right now? I do the same thing as the other girls. Um, I work eight to 10 hours. So as soon as I get home um, and I'm a hot mess cause I work with um, machineries, um, machinery and I'm the only chick there. So that's, that's super fun. Um, so I come home all gross and dirty and, a hot mess and <laughs> they don't seem to mind and I I do the same thing they do I just grab a product and I only pick ones that I've used I don't want to you know push people to buy something that I wouldn't buy myself um so I I buy I bought one of almost everything that I have on hand um just so I can try it and I haven't found anything that I don't like so that makes it a lot you know a lot easier selling selling point and and yeah just like the other girls I just jump on there and I'm like hey this is that. And then same thing with um, Chas. Um, I, I do the free drawings too, like the the ad comment done, and then they add a bunch of people and um, and then they get free stuff. And I do discounts quite a bit too. Um, I figure I'm, I'm at a 40 buying, 40% 40 buying discount. So I mean, for me to do a, a little bit of a discount for them, if they spend a certain amount, like a hundred bucks and they get 10% off, and I just started doing the coupons last night too. Um, that are uh, one of the girls in um, in the group, and I thought that was a super good idea. Um, so they're like romance bucks. Um, and then another thing that I do is, um, you know, like the buy one at one discount, and then buy mm -hmm. a three, and then free coochie for a year. Um, whoever buys the three for fifty, and that seems to be to be going really good too. And um, I'm also doing a fundraiser right now. My mom runs a um, nonprofit animal shelter she's had for about 28 years. And um, she can't do her fundraisers right now with the, the whole quarantine thing. She normally does cookie walks. And everything about that shelter is donations and out of pocket. Um, and she's federally licensed. So she gets bobcats, yep. kittens, dogs, yep. eagles, all sorts of stuff. And the vet care for them is so expensive in the quarantine has really taken a hit because we can't get any donations and fundraisers in right now. So that's another selling point I have. Um, is the gift everybody's, angle. yep. That everybody's, um, for the whole month of May, 10% of all of their orders are going, being donated straight to wild butter. I love that. That's awesome. Okay. Ladies, give us one tip. We just had 1500 social sellers who joined over the weekend. Give us one tip from you guys that will re, if you had to say, you know what, this will always work, or this is my advice, will you guys go around and start starting up with you, Trisha? What is your tip for success for these new social sellers? Um, I think my biggest tip is to be honest, like talk to your clients, not like a number, not like that's my where my next check is coming from, but talk to them like they're a person. And if you're getting a lot of people on your VIP page, I try to message all of my new people at least once a week. And that way they're getting to know me because if they get to know me and they start to trust me, then they're going to actually want to buy what I have. But if you have a bunch of people that are just cold on your VIP page because they don't know you and they're not seeing it and that that's not going to help your business and that's not going to help your clients. Very, very good advice. Amber, what's your, what's your one piece of advice to these new social sellers that I hope are excited? Um, I a hundred 
percent agree with the with the honesty thing. Like I said, I won't push anything I haven't tried myself. Um, other than other than honesty and oh, go away. Um, and just checking up on your client. I mean, I I I can't think of any better advice than than what she had said. Honestly, I mean, just being honest and checking up on your customers and not making making them feel like they are just a sale. Perfect. Yep. Marketing for a reason. Chastity, what is your advice? Um, so every morning I've been waking up and watching Chris live on the rise and grind. And that's been like a huge thing for me because like I used to be a pure romance calls consultant a long time ago. And something that always like is in the back of my head right now is those who show up, go up. So if you're yep. showing up to like the positive thoughts and stuff and like showing up to your VIP page, showing up for your customers, I mean, that's really a big thing. I agree. Ladies, thank you so much for your time and your advice. And we wish you the best of luck in your May sales. I mean, you're already killing it between 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 in just a month. Congratulations. And I hope that I will see you in Atlanta and maybe before then in 2021. Thanks, guys. and keep winning until we not only become the best female soccer team, but the best soccer team in the world. And that a whole generation of girls and boys will go out and play and say things like, I want to be like Megan Rapino when I grow up. And that they'll be inspired to talk and win and stand up for themselves. And I believe that we will make our voices heard. And TV shows will be talking about us every single day and not just once every four years. And that women will conquer more than just the soccer field, like breaking every single glass ceiling and having their is carved on that rush more and then we'll keep fighting not just to make history but to change it forever you know i do i believe we will win as well man i'm telling you those those social sellers are definitely winning they're doing an amazing job and I think that there is a lot of that to be said with the education. I think a lot of that is how you get engaged. How, is, do, you, how do you plug into all the things that, that Pure Romance has to offer? Well, one of the things that we offered last week, which was Dr. Kirchman. Dr. Kirchman is part of Patty Brisbane Foundation. Um, he's been sitting with, on Patty Brisbane Foundation for a long period of time, helping really with our doctors, um, helping with our specialists, and much, much more. You'll see more of Dr. Uh, uh, Kirchman here as we continue more programs here at Pure Romance. But last week he did this COVID and cuddling. Take a look at some of the snippets from that event. What about, um, you know, coronavirus and sexual intimacy? I alluded to the concept that, you know, things are uh, rolling in terms of research. We are learning a lot about uh, what's going on or not going on uh, when it comes to relationships. And again, people are quarantining together. Um, very often we see that uh, the sex act might decrease in frequency, but sexual exploration is really an important concept to eliminate boredom, to really bring and bring back this vitality and excitement. Let's see, is it really important? And I think this is important to recognize that, you know, sex and cuddling and, and touch is really important because there's biological changes that happen. You feel good, you have uh, more serotonin and dopamine, you have this bonding hormone oxytocin which increases and very importantly sex may boost your immunity. Um, you know we're all under a lot of stress, uh, our, our cortisol levels are challenged and having intimacy can certainly facilitate this immune boosting uh, you know, physiological change. Why is sex so important? And I think it's really important to recognize that our motivations are very different for when we have sex, but sex has a lot of benefits. You know, we used to think that sex was just for procreation and not recreation, but now we know there's a lot of things and some of them are listed here. We know, you know, most men will know about prostate cancer and reduced cancer risk. I'll tell you that there's some data on females and female cancer that if you have a good intimate relationship, it may decrease your rate because of different uh, second messenger hormones. 
pelvic floor is becoming more and more of an issue and concern, especially, you know, after childbirth. We're seeing more and more women complaining of, you know, pelvic floor problems, whether it's pain, whether it's urinary incontinence, whether it is, um, you know, just lack of sensation. So again, using it uh, and using the pelvic floor muscles can certainly strengthen it. All right. Hey, listen, you know what, Dr. K, I really appreciate that. Dr. Kirchman has been fantastic. We'll see more of him over the next couple months. And again, uh, any questions that come in, hit us up at you know, Pure Romance, uh, training at puremance.com. We'd love to see anything that you have. Also check out the Patty Brisbane Foundation for all the research, all the different things that are going on inside of our foundation. Now it's time to get into our social stars, right? We got people that are coming down and I got to get over to JoJo and I got to see what's happening with Suzanne. Let's take it away. Let's see these social stars. Jojo. Suzanne. Best time ever. Right, Chris? Chris, yes. can I have some of those Swedish fish? No, he does not share during the COVID. All right, so it is social stars time. My favorite time. I know. I feel like these are amazing these ones. These are good ones. Okay, so first we have Kylie Russell, which I'm obsessed. She matches her eyeshadow with the products. Oh, I love this. Isn't I that so it. cute? In the bosom buddy, the yes. product of the week. Yes. Love it. And then we have Amanda Dixstra. She has super, super cute product photography. I just I just love it. That's awesome. I love how, and, and it's very simple. She's using the same background. Yeah. She's doing a great job. Yeah. Very easy. You can do it at home, right. in your own little home office. Set up those products. Right, right, Chris? Chris loves it too. He said that he can't wait to get to Canada. And last we have Genesis. And she also, she has super, super cute little, look at that selfie um, with the, that the spotlight my favorite, collection. I love it. So cute. So we love our social stars. They're doing a great job. And I you put all those handles on there so yes. that people can go ahead and yeah. follow them. Yeah, and give them a follow. What, yeah, give them a follow. Look what they're doing. Emulate it on yours. And then when all else fails, take it from the Pure Romance yeah. brand and yeah. stuff. We have tons of Instagram posts and tons of stuff on our Facebook. So if you ever feel like you don't know what to post, especially with the products of the weeks going on, like we have stuff for you to use. So go ahead. You basically and have your own creative agency right there mm -hmm. and then if you go to the training site also they have all of the assets on mm -hmm. the training site and the buzz I love the buzz you know I love the buzz if you are not sharing the buzz blog now is the time because you can share it on Facebook and it has products linked into every article right now we have one up on enhancement mm -hmm. creams yes it goes through all of our enhancement creams which one will be great for your clients mm -hmm. and it's masturbation month yes. so we have the health benefits of orgasms and we have the health, health benefits of masturbation too so Enjoy the bus. You want to know the secret to victory? Fail to make the varsity team. Start your career as a walk-on. Go 3-13 and 13 your rookie season. Lead the league in interceptions. Take a perfect team and blow a perfect season. It's been 108 years as a local loser. Serena denied a shot in history by an unsealed opponent. Be on the wrong side of the biggest upset in your sport. You really want to know the secret to victory. And heartbreak for Matt Ryan, who is in utter disbelief. Defeat. Come on, one more. Set. Get it! Not again. Make defeat your fuel. All right, Chris, do you believe that defeat fuels you? Uh, I think defeat is is something you can learn from. I don't think it necessarily fuels me. I think every time I, I you know, I failed at things or I've lost things, I think I've learned from them, right? So mm -hmm. it's not a fuel, you know, m my fuel is um, I, I love to win. Yeah, I do like to win, but I also, um, I, it's not a fuel to, to, to me to, if I lose. I think I learn something from that and I build from that. I think what my fuel is, is, is really seeing people do well. I love that part. That's my, if I see my team members do well, I see the consultants do well, I see somebody else, then it's like, oh my gosh, that gets me even more. I'm like, okay, I want to give more out. I want to do more when I see that type of stuff. So I don't think defeat is something because I get actually kind of get a little down on that. Right. Um, and but I take the lessons. And I say, okay, what can I learn differently? Awesome. Okay, question. Yeah. You're always like, you're on rise and grind. You're always happy. You oh, you literally wake up and you do your. Please do it. Woo! <laughs> We're all ready. Okay. 
when you're down, which doesn't yeah. happen very often, how do you lift yourself back up? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> yeah, I think I blew Bob's ear drum out in the back. <laughs> Bob, I didn't know, Bob, don't, don't have your, I mean, I didn't know you had your ear, <laughs> earphones on. That's all right. It's a, yeah. Well, he's just monitoring the yeah, audio. Yeah, yeah, that Bob's is, ready. That's true. Yeah. Okay. I can't hear you guys anymore. But oh, yeah, oh, oh, we lost your hearing. We lost Bob lost right, his hearing. That's finally. So what okay, was it? So when you're down, when things aren't going your way, yeah. how do you how do you muster up? I go and, for a run. Okay. I go for a run. Um, what if there's well, not time? Uh, if there's not time, then I will do I'll do push up. I, I I need. Uh, that's why I say motion creates emotion because mm -hmm. I think if I'm not in a good mood or I'm having a bad day or something's not going the way I want to, I got to get up and move and I got to change my state. I got. Uh, it's like the same thing with Tony Robbins. Same thing with anybody. You know, change your state. You got to. You, you might not have a lot of room to do it. You might not have a lot of time to do it, but it has to happen now. And that is by that's over a period of time of training my body, training my mind. Um, it's it's how I speak to myself. You know, I speak to myself differently. You know, uh, how I talk to myself. How do you talk uh, to yourself? Uh, I've heard it before. I I do a lot of like I do a lot of affirmations. Like mm -hmm. let's take action right now. Let let's make things happen. You know, and it's not that's not aggressive. I've it's heard just, you go, come on, Chris, come on, yeah, Chris. And I do, and yeah. and. And that's my own self motivation. Um, people are like, is you know, maybe look at it a little bit weird or a little bit different. Who cares? Well, guess what? You know, uh, I also can look at myself and say, hey, I've been successful. I know how to do this. I know how to make money. Um, I know how to lead people. I'm going to make confident decisions today. I'm not going to be weak on my decision making. And, and those are things that those are mantras because most people say the other thing. I'm tired today. I don't have energy today. I'm, I'm not sure what today's going to bring. I, I mean, I'm probably going to have so many things I got to decide today. Day. You know, somebody's gonna ask me if I wear. I want to go to dinner. How do you flip that narrative? It's 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 the same way of how you flip your your, your body. How the how you uh, how you flip the your, your diet, whatever it might be. It's not happening overnight. It's a series of training. It's a series of, of of training this. It's a series of making sure you are giving those affirmations because just like anything else you you find, it is the consistency, the pattern, and the frequency in which you do things. That's why I say you know you know the the mother of, of learning is repetition. The father mm -hmm. of, of action, right, is 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 going out there and taking the steps and doing this type types of things each and every day in your business. And that that's my mind. That's how I work. Um, and I think a lot of people have started to prescribe that. I watch Rise and Grind. The people that are on Rise and Grind, they, they're they're becoming a lot more uh, self motivating. Self talks becoming a very big part of their day, and I'm starting to see more and more people saying, "I'm not talking to myself the way I used to be. I used to have a kind of like a, a personality where I d d talk down to myself or beat myself up, and I and I catch myself. And as long as you can catch yourself, yeah. that's the key." All right, one last question. Yeah. Can you start today? Can we just change yes. our own narrative? Can you start today? You can start today. It won't happen today. Okay. okay. So that's the deal. Explain. That's why. Because what I'm saying is, is you can change your narrative. The thing is, you can change it. You can write it down. You can mantra it, right? But if you're not consistently mantraing it and you're not consistently doing it, it's it, 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 as quick as you want it to change, it can change back the other way, right? The, the positive can swing back to the negative. And that's where I sit back and I, I say to everybody, I have those days too. That's why it, it is a constant grind from, from top. Today, you make that decision till the, the day you're not here anymore. And I, it's a never ending thing. There is not like I get to the panacea because even as, as, as some people quote successful of I've been in business, the one thing I've definitely learned is that it's I'm not done. I, I got more to do and I've got to make sure that this stays solid, this stays solid and, and, and that's by mantra and doing the same thing over and over again, repeating, detach from the outcome, commit to the process. I know that one. Yeah. Okay. You, why? I lied. One more question. You saw COVID as an opportunity. Yes. While other people, why? Uh, I saw COVID as an opportunity for us uh, for a couple of different reasons. One is I felt like this would get us back together. I felt like this pe that people were kind of drifting from uh, personal connection. I think people were drifting from uh, being able to, to really appreciate their relationship and so much more. We were so con concerned on our phones, so concerned on our other things. And I think too that I think it was an opportunity because we have very strong trained business owners in the field. Mm -hmm. And I think if we didn't have biz strong business owners, we would have gotten eaten up. And I think that that is because they have stayed students. They are telling themselves what they need to be doing more times than not, meaning that not that they do everything perfect. I always say that most of the successful people just hide their bat shit crazy better than others, right? Yep. And and I think that's, that, that's what, and I looked at this as an opportunity and it has definitely paid out 
dividends. I mean, up you know 70% in, in, in April, up almost 100% right now, or 100 or plus percent right now in the month of uh, in there. the month of May. And I think it's going to continue. I think it's going continue, continue, to continue, continue, continue because I think when when we are allowed to have 10 people in a room or 20 mm -hmm. people in a room, they're going to see that this is an amazing they're time be to ready get together. For the best girls. Right? Yes, 100%. 100%. All right. TikTok, you don't stop? I am watching TikTok. I don't know about you guys, but have you seen all these TikToks now? I'm learning more and more about TikTok as we speak. And, and we're going to have a pure romance TikTok. I know. TikTok. Pure, Joe's into it. We're, uh, take a look at this. This is amazing. Hey, TikTok, we don't stop around here. It is always something going on here, Pure Romance. I love it. And here's the thing, what else I love is when we do promo weeks, like this weekend, I know a lot of people were able to take a look at the We Vibe. What about that? Bringing 7,500 back in. People have said, Chris, can you get more of them, more of them, more of them? I'm working on it. I'll let you know. But again, a lot of people are trying to move stuff, and Pure Romance is here to kind of help out during this, this time. Take a look at this promo. <laughs> Your perfect match? Look no further. The We Vibe match will bring the fireworks to your bedroom every night of the week. And what's even better, Pure Romance's We Vibe match can go from a We Vibe to a Me Vibe. With its intense stimulation and mind blowing vibration, your bedroom will never be the same. All right, hey, listen, I'm telling you, the We Vibe, that was a great promotion this weekend. Don't forget we're going to be doing more of these uh each and every week i know i got some other things that are getting ready to crack keep going we got some other stuff hey i don't know if anybody joined on this new instagram thing that we're doing on hit 10. anybody in the chat did you join today because today with jen kelly fantastic i love it it's great advice the uh, last week i had jana vukalic that was on i've had dana barish that uh, that has been on i've had cassidy vibe that's been on and we're going to continue this because it's really getting some great business lessons so if you haven't followed me on instagram go follow me it's just chris chickenelli go get on there and take part of this uh, we do it every monday and we do it every thursday at 10 30 eastern standard time a.m so make sure you got that also Make sure you mark in your calendar. It is June 7th from 5 to 8, our virtual award show. I want to make sure everybody's there. It will be a fantastic event, star-studded, and much, much more. Next level of one, June 1. Can you believe that? And also June 1, because we did so well on our social seller kits. June 1, I'm launching 4,000 social seller kits. I mean, social seller kits, 1,500 of them sold out in literally record time, an hour and 30 minutes. So I know on June 1st when I announced there's 4,000, and I know that you guys are going to start getting geared up for that, there'll be 4,000 of them that will be available. And I think my guess would be is we got eight hours and they'll be over. So make sure you get ready. You make sure you start telling people, talking to them. If they're wanting to get that social seller kit, it's going to be that time. We'll have 4,000 of them. And I want to make sure that you do one thing too, which is this. Make sure you join next Monday, Memorial Day. I know a lot of people are going to be thinking about things that they need to be doing with their family, their friends, but think about all of the people that have dedicated so much to us and making sure that you, you pay your re respects during May 25th. It is going to be uh, a fantastic day. So we won't have any live show. We're taking that day off. We're going to make sure that we give our team here a break. Now, the last thing I want to go out on this is this, which is the most important. We here at Pure Romance, we always talk about the different things that we need to make sure we instill in. And one of those is this, is that we gotta make sure that we instill confidence. You know, that is the one thing I think all of us have learned here. If you've gotten the business and you've been doing it for 20 years, or if you've been in it for 20 minutes or 20 days, 
the biggest thing that we want to make sure that everybody walks out is that you understand that confidence is really what we're trying to build each and every day. So you do make those confident business decisions. You make those confident decisions when it comes to your money, when it comes to your relationship, when it comes to actually working to help others develop. And I will tell you, seeing so many of you confident business women out there joining Rise and Grind, joining some of the things that are happening each and every day, I think that that's what we look at and are so enamored by. I was lucky that I was raised by one confident woman, my mother. And now to see over 33,000 that are each and every day in their journey of getting more and more confident with who they are as a business owner, getting confident in who they are in their skin, that's what this whole thing is really about. So this week, I hope you have a fantastic week. I hope you go out there. I hope you continue to keep rocking it. And let's finish off May really strong. I'll see each and every one of you on Rise and Grind tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. And I can tell you, what about today? I mean, today with Erin Garden King, was she not a rock star? I love every time that she speaks. I love every time that we're able to get her on. So again, make sure that uh, you tune in. I got a lot of people this week. What about Carrie Wilkinson that's going to be joining us on Tuesday? Sarah Ross that's going to be joining us on Wednesday. And Andrea Owen that's going to be with us on Thursday. This is a week. Rise and grind. We are turning it up a notch, man. We are going to be delivering some amazing content, some amazing speakers. This was a whole week. I thought to myself, what can I give to the Rise and Grinders as they're on their journey? And this was the week I said, hey, I'm going to bring in some great speakers, some great people. I want to make sure you're inviting everybody you possibly can on this because everybody, we need 4,000 people to be watching Rise and Grind on Monday. We need all of our, we need 33,000 of them. Let's get them. Let's tap everybody because you want to make sure that you're there on Tuesday, tomorrow. See ya. No matter how many times you go, you're always going to learn something new. And if you're a leader, you should be encouraging your team to attend these events because not only are they going to learn fabulous information that they can go home and use right away, they're going to make friendships and bonds for life. Staying a student helps keep my business going. It helps keep me re-energized and just wanting to do better and more. I make sure that I'm at every single event, every single meeting, because in order to grow, you have to learn.